My name is Will Machetto, a senior system security engineer with Tripwire, here to talk to you today about industrial cybersecurity and some of the things that Tripwire and Tofino can do to help secure your industrial network. What we have here is a pretty standard industrial network configuration. We have our programmable logic controller controlling the levels in our field facility, our Layer 2 Tofino Deep Packet Inspection Firewall, our HMI Human Machine Interface, we have a 19-inch Greyhound rack-mounted Hirschman switch, two DIN-mounted Hirschman switches, a DIN-mounted data diode, Tripwire Enterprise and Tripwire Log Center monitoring the configuration and the events coming out of all of our devices, and our Hirschman Industrial High Vision Network Management and Configuration Tool. Now, I'll show a little demonstration on some of the things Tofino can do to help secure the PLCs in your environment. As I came into work this morning, next to my car in the parking lot, I found this USB drive. And as an administrator, when I stepped onto plant floor, I got curious and I plugged it into the HMI to see what's actually on this USB drive. When I plug the USB into the HMI, it turns out there's a bunch of files on this USB drive and one of them actually contains a Modbus virus. If I open up this file here and then execute it, it actually executes an attack against the PLC in our environment. Now let's see what happens when we run that same attack against that PLC through the Tofino firewall. So if we unplug and go through this Tofino firewall, we're now protecting this PLC. As I run this attack, you can see the attack is executing, but nothing's actually affecting the programmable logic controller. Back in Tripwire Log Center, as we're monitoring all the events in the environment, we can refresh the screen here and see very quickly the function code that's actually being executed against the PLC that is disallowed in the environment. It's important to note the security can also be very operational in nature. For example, in most industrial networks, we have redundancy built in everywhere. But one of the complaints I often get is, if a redundant power supply goes down, or if a primary power supply goes down, you actually don't know until that power supply is out until two years later when the redundant power supply goes offline also. For example, if we pull this power supply to simulate an outage, we can come into Tripwire Log Center and see very quickly that that power supply has failed and then no, we need to go investigate this switch. Likewise, on the Ethernet side or on the network side, if I pull one of these cables, we can come back into Tripwire Log Center and see that that link is now down, prompting us to go investigate this switch. One of the other things to concern yourself with with industrial cybersecurity is configuration compliance. Here we have Tripwire Enterprise monitoring the configuration state of all of our industrial equipment. If we drill down into this example, we can see for Hirschman High OS, we're monitoring for IEC 62443 standards. We have the subsections underneath each of these standards, the nodes being tested, pass test, fail test, percent of compliancy, and if we drill down into these failures, we can see the actual result off that device. So here we can see ICMP should be enabled. It's actually disabled, resulting in a failure how do we fix this? Do these one, two, three, four things to bring ourselves back into compliance.